Scorpio. Scorpio, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome. It is all about you. This is for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising sign, or wherever Scorpio influences your chart. You could take these energies and apply them for the next seven days. I feel that whenever you watch this video is the right time for you to watch this video. And once again, those energies would affect you up through the next seven days. One of these comes out every single seven days here at Born Without Boundaries. So you could take a look and you could find Scorpio all the way back through the beginning of this year. <sighs> oh, my Scorpios, thank you so much for your constant support and love. All right, Scorpio, let's get down to it. There's always going to be an extended reading. You guys know that. That link is below with a full tarot card spread and romance reading. Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy for the next seven days, Scorpio energy for the next seven days. It is flowing out. It is very easy, easily flowing out. Nothing is being held back. Scorpio, Scorpio energy, Scorpio energy for the next seven days. Ooh, it's like a big release. Scorpio energy for the next seven days. Almost like an internal release. Something that you've been fighting with and struggling with for quite some time. There's an internal re release. As if you've been insisting on something is true. And for a while now you've known that it isn't true. But you've been insisting on it because you were determined to make it real and make it true. But I think that there is a tremendous sense this week of letting go. Of releasing this responsibility on yourself. Of releasing... The pressure to make something work that hasn't been working. And realizing, by realizing first and foremost, it's not about you having failed. It's not that. It's just about life changing. Opportunities opening up elsewhere. Your mind shifting in another direction and that yes Scorpio you're allowed you're allowed to do that you are not a failure and it doesn't mean that you were insincere it doesn't mean that you're breaking promises and it doesn't mean that even you're letting yourself down when you wake up and realize but wait what I'm working so hard on isn't for me and my energy is better placed elsewhere the crowning energy, be fearless and bold, overcome any obstacles. And I can tell you right now, fearless and bold is all about your sense of self. This is very much Aries energy. So you could be dealing with Aries and, and overcoming some sort of issue or energy with uh, an Aries in your life. Um, that's a very literal understanding of this crowning energy. But overall, Aries is the house, rules the first house of self, the sense of self. And I think here is overcoming an obstacle, like I just said in the, in the, in the channeled message, um, almost overcoming yourself, almost overcoming the very high standards and high bar that you set on yourself based on what you thought you should expect of yourself, which was never really realistic. I'm not telling you to give up your standards. I'm telling you to check to see if your standards were actually your standards or if they were always sort of an execution of the ego as opposed to the truth of who you are um, and the truth of what you really cared about. So right now what you're doing is you're overcoming this sense of ego. You're overcoming this convoluted sense of what makes you deserving and what makes you... Um, strong enough, sexy enough, brave enough, as if you're in a constant cycle of having to prove these characteristics about yourself. The obstacles you're overcoming are the obstacles you set in your own way, you know, because the most formidable and dangerous enemy of Scorpio is Scorpio themselves. 
Um, there is nobody that could drag you lower. There is nobody that could lift you higher. And this is true for all of us. But I think so particularly, it because you're so transparent in your experiences and your feelings, it is just so easy for us to see it in you, to see the struggle that is the struggle against ourselves, the struggle against our own sense of not right or wrong, but good and bad, you know, deserving and undeserving. I think that that's the primary that I want to talk about here is deserving and undeserving. You have set some really, really harsh standards against yourself and have pushed and pushed and insisted on staying on a track because you don't want to look like a fool. You don't want to betray your own standards at the expense of betraying your own soul. And this is the week where you're like, bullshit. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through me. Bottom line is, as hard as it is, the simplest way forward is the right way forward. And that is letting go. Understanding and accepting that I do not have to. I don't. I'm really not obligated. I can let this go and not be a failure. <sighs> yes, you can. If you're on platforms that allow for commercials, I'll sneak one in here. I'll see you back in about 30 seconds. All right, let's flip these cards over and see what other energies are coming out for you. Give with gratitude and grace. Now we just passed Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving, ironically, is the start of, of Sagittarius season. And I do think the question in your mind this week will always be, have I given enough? Have I done enough? Am I enough? And the answer will always have to come from you because as long as you let that answer come from other people, you're really never going to be in control of yourself. And being in control of yourself is so essential to your well-being. But gauging it, your, your value on how happy you've made other people on what you've done with their lives for them, how you've been an inspiration to them or how you've helped to heal them, etc., etc. That gauge is not working for you. It's exhausting you. And there is this energy of you learning that balance this week of how much to give before you give too much. Dove spirit, be peace. And I'm so glad this card came out because I was as I was reading Turkey Spirit, all I was thinking of was balance, balance, balance. And this is the balance card because peace is balance. More, I think, poignantly um, described as harmony. Harmony is beautiful balance, but it's the balance of things. In other words, harmony is a wonderful word. I love to use it and I love to use the image of harmony. Because if you think of an orchestra, that harmony is very hard won in an, in an orchestra. Say the Philharmonic, which is the best of the best, right? Or one of these top orchestras around the world. They're the best of the best. And why are they the best of the best? Because there's so many layers of balance within that sound. There's the hard work that each individual musician, their study for all their lives, their high standards for themselves and their natural abilities, figuring out how to balance inside themselves, their expectations of themselves and their executions, their hard work and their talent with also some sort of love and loving what they do and keeping that love for what they do by not pushing themselves too hard. And so they fine tune themselves and then they fine tune their instruments and they become experts. They become one with the sound that they make. 
And then what they have to do is learn how that fits in with the sounds around them. And all of them are coming and then they find a balance between each other. And then there's this conductor at front, which helps everybody find a balance between all the different parts, between the music that was somebody else's dream, somebody else's um, creation, and the people sitting outside of the music. And how is that all going to come together and work together? So there's so many layers of real, true harmony. And it doesn't take... It, it is, is it hard work? No, it's not hard work. It's constant work. It's never, ever giving up that sense of harmony, that sense of balance. Now, that means consistent work, right? Not mean work, difficult work, overjudging yourself. That's not what it is. This guy is wonderful. This is a beautiful Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Taurus. But there is a grounding sense of, a sense this, this week of grounding your sense of self. Feeling beautiful or being rewarded by the people around you for um, who you are. And them actually reminding you to cut yourself some slack. Like you don't, you, 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 you really are doing better than you're giving yourself credit for. And a sense of balance has to come back in. This is a Libran energy. Um, peace is balance. It is harmony. And it is constant work, but it shouldn't be difficult work. Because remember, it's all founded on listening. Just listening and trusting what you hear. And giving or taking with regards to what you hear. It's that ebb and flow every single day of being tuned in. And if you are tuned in, you're going to be fine. And I think that pushing yourself too hard is actually tuning out because it's, it's, it's disengaging with all those things around you. And it's just sort of cutting yourself off from all the other sounds and playing too loud. And that's actually disharmony. It's throwing everything off balance. You don't have to do it. This is your week to sort of let go and let yourself be this is a week for you to receive from others, okay? There's a sense here of other people sticking up for you. There's a sense here of other people praising you. There's a sense here of other people even giving back to you. But this is my this is how I'm tying it in with the channeled message is will you feel comfortable in accepting? of them doing that you may resist it you may block the goodness that's coming towards you this week simply because you don't feel somehow deep down inside you deserve it and now i know there are scorpios out there saying hey, i'm gonna accept my abundance good good that's the energy i like to hear accept your abundance this week because it's coming in and it could very well be coming in terms of love. In terms of, because this is Libra energy, Venus. In terms of big love. Right now, from the cards that are turned over, this is big love. And what I mean by big love is connection. Connection to those people, those circumstances, those situations in our lives that make us feel most valued. And most at harmony with ourselves. It's this is coming to you from the outside. So there is a sense of being given back. Of receiving. You could be receiving some serious support and help from a Libra. Or something that they're doing. It doesn't have to be a Libra. Um, but something that, something that somebody is doing is actually helping you to calm down and accept and receive um, appreciation. Yeah, appreciation this week. I feel like you are overcoming some sort of blockage. and But I do believe that this blockage was coming from inside of you. Embrace the in-between. This is balance. This is another Libra card. This is 100%. This whole reading is about balance. It's about learning how to give and take. 
right? Learning how to receive. Flamingo energy balances on one leg to conserve energy. So there's also this essence of don't overspend this week. <laughs> there is there is that sense of keep your checkbook balanced. Make sure that you're not giving too much or spending too much. Scorpio, there is that energy because I know how much you guys love to give them gifts. You love to them shopping and you love to adore people and you love to show them how much you adore them by giving and giving and giving. Make sure that it's balanced because you do have to have to give. Don't give yourself away. Remember that? Oh, I just got, I've looked at love from both sides now. From win and lose, uh, wait, from, I've looked at love from both sides now. I'll give you that quote. I'll actually attach it above. It's a Joni Mitchell song. It's so beautiful. From win and lose or give and take, but still somehow it's love's illusion. I recall, I really don't know love at all. It's such an amazing song. It's about the sense of maturity, maturing with your relationship with love, with your expectations for love and who you love. How much to give, how much to expect them to give, a balancing of those expectations can lead to a lot of peace in your reality. Ooh, this is a transformative time for you. I, I can't like liberation, freedom, horses, beautiful. This beautiful energy that comes from maybe you're being, maybe you're actually going to be around horses this week, or you're actually around animals that you love this week, because animals have this magic energy with us, especially with water signs, because animals don't, they don't really work in intellect, do they? They work in instinct and intuition the way that water signs do. <laughs> so there's this sense of being around something that is wild and something that is free something that is still very grounded horse horses have four hooves and it's interesting how this is a grounded energy but it's definitely for me always an air energy it's almost like an aquarian energy because there's a liberation and a non-commitment aspect to horse a horse energy just wants to live in the moment live in the now like an air energy and and it's essential for them to want freedom and I feel this need in you to want freedom. Freedom not from necessarily could be from somebody else, but freedom from yourself, from your own hardcore expectations. You're, you're flinging off that mantle this week, Scorpio, because it, it's heavy and it's weighing you down and you're tired of it. And you, it's like you just realized, holy shit, this is not my skin. This is armor and I'm actually allowed to take it off. And boy, oh boy, what a religious experience it is on that day that you just take it off. Take it all off. Mm. Be free. Let yourself be lifted by your own permission. Oh, I love that. Now is a lucky time. This is you taking off. This is you soaring abundance picking up this energy of it getting easier for you to live in this energy of grounded freedom it's like grounded flight think about the tree of life as above so below it, it's attached to the cosmos it is the cosmos and yet it's rooted it's a reflection right the roots of the tree and the branches of the tree they're a reflection of each other they're equal so as one multiplies, so does another. And as you give yourself a sense of freedom, you also ground yourself in a sense of self that is honest and true and pure to who you are. This is also my fertility card. So I would be remiss if I did not say to you, when the little bunny pops up, other stuff might be popping up that could get you pregnant. So I'm just going to let you know that bunny is fertility. Now, fertility doesn't have to be literal fertility, but it could be. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Um, 
It could also mean just multiplying your abundance. You know, this is happiness multiplying itself. So far, all these cards are upright. So this is an upright week for you. This is where you feel above ground, but you don't feel buried in the underworld. Where you actually can feel the sun on your face. And you feel a little bit of easement. And I'll tell you why. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again. Scorpio, it's because you've given yourself permission. You will find that more than anything, the reason why you're stuck in that underworld is because of you. You hold your own key. And it's like now you're finally using it. I love that. I love that. There is also a sense of rushing. If I could pick a tarot card to relate this to, and we'll see what comes out in the tarot reading on the other side. Um, who said that? Who's one of my favorite readers always uh, talks about it like that. Um, I would say this is the chariot card, the chariot energy where you're just ready. Do you see the wings, the wings, the messenger wings, the carrying of the wings, the flying of the wings? The chariot also always has wings on its head. Usually the driver has wings on its head. So it knows its direction. It's sure of its direction now. 100% it's sure. And I love that because I know that there's a conjunction between Saturn and Pluto. I'm not going to go too deep in it because I don't have that full astrology understanding. I don't have the academic background, but I will say this to you. You are represented by Pluto. There is a wonderful, beautiful, karmic hard-assness about Saturn, but it also has a way of showing you the way, like directing you. Finally now, by knowing your direction and by knowing where your priorities really are, you could shed all the other stuff that was holding you back. You have the energy now to break through and this is that chariot that chariot he's not riding crazy the chariot card in tarot this is what it reminds me of the two of them sitting next to each other because see the rabbit has wings too he has earthbound wings but he has wings he he has he has that energy in other words wings represent your ability to fly forward and speed and quickness right and you have the wind beneath your wings so you have the resources now this is speeding ahead Whatever it is in your life that you've been waiting for, there is a breakthrough coming this week because you have that right momentum and that right balance and you have direction. You know which way to go and you're not afraid of the reality of the choice. I don't want to say afraid, but you don't harbor any guilty feelings or holding on to what didn't serve you. This is absolute liberation because you don't only know which way to go. Now you have allowed yourself to head in that direction. Surrender now. This is Sagittarius season. This is also a moth being attracted to a flame. But I feel like this would be more coming on the outside than from the inside. This is you seeing the light. And seeing a beacon light, it's almost like you've something has lit in your in front of you. You've seen it. You know which direction to go based on this light that you trust. It's calling to you. So in other words, you have a calling. And you are setting upon the path toward that calling this week. And what did I say? Be here now. Freedom is yours. This is a sense of that air sign energy of freedom. It's yours. You can finally be right here in the present moment, not stuck in the past. You are here right now. You have completely and totally given over and decided to trust, not to wait or set your criteria for when it happens, when it ha it will happen when, or I need this and this and this and this and this before it happens or before I can move or before I can take off. No, you're like, I don't need anything to be perfect. The now is perfect in and of itself. I'm headed out my way. I'm headed out. I'm headed toward that light. There is always enough. What did I say? You have the resources and you have the abundance. This is also Piscean energy. Do you know what I'm getting? There's a, every kind of energy right here on this board. Every kind of energy. So this is reiterating a sense of balance and harmony with all those different voices, with all those different requirements and all those different expectations. 
balance and harmony, swimming in your emotions, feeling very, very comfortable with what you feel, very, very comfortable in your own skin. This is also chasing your dreams because this is a very Piscean energy card. So it's an energy of what are your dreams? Being this close to them actually coming true because now you are bringing yourself closer. You're not expecting them to come to you based on these criteria, these fantastical criteria. Now it's like you're living the dream. You're seeing the dream. You're seeing the dream through. You're in execution mode of, oh, I'm the missing piece. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. And this is that, that veil between what is a dream and what is reality. They're both the same thing. Just depends on where you're putting your energy. OMG, let's get some grounding energy for you, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh, and then we can see how all this energy applies to the everyday. Ooh. Grounding energy for Scorpio. This is a beautiful reading. It is powerful, 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 especially for you guys. Because once you... I'll tell you why it's so powerful. Because once you reach this state of being, now you accomplish everything. Everything. The anything. The everything of anything. So this was that key, that turn, that turning your own key. Grounding energy for Scorpio for the next seven days. I always want to finish that shuffle. Trust in divine detours. That's really interesting. It's this is not you're stuck. This is you can go anywhere, any direction. The grounding energy is the energy of coyote. This is uh, Sagittarius season. <clears throat> this is once again <coughs> a Sagittarius card. This is not having a direction, just trusting in the direction of that light, the surrender now. This is you are get this. This is tis the season of that beacon light shining and you seeing your direction, seeing almost like having that one last puzzle piece of, but I need this, I need to know this, I need to understand this before I can make my move. Well, there it pops up in front of you. You're gonna get that puzzle piece, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that sign, you're gonna get that beacon light shining and know exactly which direction to go in. This is having that last bit filled in so that you can charge toward it. Let me turn the card, the camera around so we'll, we'll review the cards. Match your spread. Big, bold, and beautiful. Overcoming the obstacle of your own self, your own standards. Liberating who you are, setting yourself free. Shedding that, those preconceived notions about what you should be. Charging free, feeling your full self, your full sense of power, not being tethered anymore to an expectation, a grounded sense of who you are, a different way of moving forward, which would be moving forward in confidence, receiving, this is definitely also receiving peace, balance, and harmony, or getting that light or getting that information that helps you to balance yourself. I feel like this is, this is not just receiving, it could be receiving resources, actual resources, which could be like resources of money, clothing, whatever it is, I don't know, oil and gold, resources of, of the 3D kind that help to balance out your situation and help move you forward this week. But it's also a sense of just receiving that sense of purpose. I know that if you've been feeling lost, if you've been feeling misguided or misdirected, this is the clouds clearing, that beacon light shining. And you're like, oh, that's where I was supposed to go. And now you can go there. It's like there's a clarification coming through this week. Trust, if, even if you have to turn the boat around, because you realize you were headed in a totally wrong direction, I think you will do that with ease and without question because you know 
once you once you see that piece that see that get that information get that message you're not going to question and you're not even going to like i said you're not going to chastise yourself for having headed in the wrong direction all you're going to do is turn around and start heading in the right direction be like i don't need to keep heading in the right wrong direction i don't need to i don't have any obligation i, I you're letting that go you're turning around and you're, you're allowing yourself to turn around, to trust in that right hook. That, oh, sorry, right. <laughs> uh, I was like, let um, that, that right corner that you needed to take real quick. Uh, get off this highway. The GPS finally started working again. You will get that direction this week. And the one thing that you may have to overcome is the sense of, but no, I've traveled on this highway for so long. Don't I have to stay here? There will be that little tinge of expectation of yourself that you will have to overcome to be like, no, no, I don't have to continue to go in the wrong direction just because I was going in the wrong direction. I was going in the wrong direction only because I thought I was going in the right direction. Now that I see that I'm not going in the right direction, I'm correct this shit. And that's what you're going to do this week that this is about correcting the course so that you can actually be on the track to this beautiful, beautiful life. All right, let's see what comes of this. We're gonna go over and see into love, into career, into money, how this is gonna play out. That link is below. I will see you guys over there.